So guys, we all know that it's a crazy world out there online and if we are not careful enough, we might get into trouble. But there is a new kind of scam going on. It is a kind of phishing and it is specially targeted towards the YouTubers and other social media influencers. But even if you are not a social media influencer or YouTuber, this might be applicable for you as well. So make sure you keep watching the video till the end because your account might be at risk and you should know what is going on and what actually happened with me and how to stay safe, how to protect your account from this phishing scams. Hello everybody, I am Arijit, let's take it easy. So at any point in this video, if you think you like it, don't forget to hit the like button. It definitely means a lot. Also make sure you share this video to spread awareness to help others as well. So a few months back, I think it was November, so I received a mail, email from a company and they were trying to promote their PC cleaner software. I'm not sure whether a Mac or Linux computer needs cleaning like a Windows computer does. Anyways, I use Windows and I know about cleaning softwares. I have used them in the past and I still use cleaning softwares. I use mostly CCleaner. Sometimes brands approach the YouTubers or social media influencers to promote their products or services. Sometimes they pay a certain amount of money and sometimes they offer their products or services for free in exchange. Sometimes it is a short commercial integrated into another video and sometimes it is a dedicated video. However, it is the job of the YouTuber or the influencer to make an unbiased review. So the brand did approach me to make a review of their cleaning software and of course they offered me money, they offered me a good amount. So I thought I should definitely think about doing it and we exchanged a few emails and then they provided me with further details about their software and they also provided me the download link. Then I thought, okay, let's download the software and start making the review. Then I downloaded the software and it was small in size it was not a huge software then uh, it, it was kind of uh, suspicious that a cleaner software can be that small i think it was uh, less than 2 mbs i think so far i can remember anyways then i thought okay i don't know anything about this software so before installing it i should at least google about it i should check their website in detail and I should also check out the other reviews of this software. Basically I should do a little bit of research. So I googled about it, I did my research and apart from their website I found almost no information anywhere on the internet. However I think two or three posts were there containing that keyword. So I thought I should not take the risk of installing some kind of unknown software into my PC. Then towards the end of our conversation, they sent some really suspicious emails, which even made Gmail suspicious. And they even marked that mail as spam. Then I thought like, okay, I have done the right thing. I did not take any kind of risks. So it was a very tight situation and my account got almost hacked, almost. I even downloaded the software. The only thing remaining was installing it. So basically what the hackers want you to do is install their software, their hacking tool, that is basically their hacking tool, which will create some kind of backdoor in your system or maybe it will hijack your cookies from your browser from where you have logged in into YouTube or Google or Facebook or whatever. Maybe they will take over your browser or your operating system and then they might delete all your contents, all your videos, all your posts from your accounts and then they might also ask for some ransom money. So it will be a mess. Your accounts will be gone. Then after those fake sponsorship emails, I received multiple other fake sponsorship emails as well. Sometimes it was a game, sometimes it was another kind of 
cleaning software sometimes it was a vpn sometimes some other kind of software so whenever you receive any kind of promotional offers or any kind of sponsorship make sure you check all these things first of all you should check the mail id if it is really coming from a brand at least from a professional brand it should not end with at the rate gmail.com and sometimes it might also come from some other unknown email providers at the rate some website dot ru or something else it should rather end with their domain name for example if adobe is asking you to review their uh, latest version of photoshop or premiere pro they will send you the mail from a mail id that ends with at the rate adobe.com however small brands and startups might use gmail or some other free email providers like yahoo or something else even we have mail ids at the rate takeiteasy.in you must check for the languages used in the email if multiple spelling or grammatical errors are there then there is a big reason to be suspicious also besides the main language of the email check for any other languages that might be there at the top or the bottom of the email mostly at the bottom of the emails uh, there were some kind of uh, russian or ukrainian texts so that was also very common if gmail is telling you that the mail is from a dangerous source or the mail is a spam then you should definitely avoid it and if you have clicked on any link and google chrome tells you that the website might be dangerous then you should definitely avoid that before clicking on any links or downloading any software make sure you do your research at least google with the name of that software that they are asking you to review or the name of that company or brand sometimes they might use real names like uh, the real name of a brand or the real name of a software or a game then again check their email id whether it is ending with at the rate gmail.com or something else or from the original brand domain and many times when i opened the links mentioned in those emails uh, it was either a russian or an ukrainian domain or it was some kind of rarely used domain and any download links within that email should also be from the official domain of that brand keep in mind links can also be made to look like it is from the original source but in fact it is not i can tell you that because i am a software developer and a web developer myself after the link opens in your web browser check out the link whether it is from the original domain of the brand or not sometimes you might get suspicious at the very first mail that they send you and sometimes it might take a few mails for you to get suspicious most importantly keep in mind guys most importantly you must enable two factor authentication in your google account to enable two factor authentication you have to basically add your mobile number to your google account then whenever you try to log in from a new device google will ask you for a code that they will send you to the mobile number that you provided this is a must and you should also add a recovery email make sure whatever email id you are adding as the recovery email id is secure it should either belong to you or someone who you really trust certain amount of access of your youtube account or gmail account can also be given to other youtube or gmail users so if you have given access of your gmail or youtube account to some other users make sure they know their thing their accounts are secured as well and make sure their accounts are not being hacked by someone okay because if their accounts get hacked then their accounts might be used to access your account to perform certain amount of unauthorized tasks that you might not want if you have any queries or whatever you want to say just post a comment down there so guys if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and make sure you share the video as well to spread the awareness and help others as well check out all the other videos in take it easy channel and if you think i am doing a good job 
please consider subscribing it is free hit that red subscribe button down there to subscribe to take it easy or you can also hit the round channel logo somewhere on the screen don't forget to hit the bell and enable all notifications for the future videos and updates so guys that's it for this video have a great time and i will see you in the next video